Hi, Vanessa. How are you? Good. Good. Thank you for sharing your feedback with me this morning. Tell me how this type of project helps you learn. Um, well, if I kind of like, from it, when I like put the feedback on it, like if I read it, can redo it, then it'll be like better than it was this draft. Beautiful. So you like that you're given a chance to improve your work. How does using the arrows and, su and the success criteria together help you improve your work? Well, since like, I get to see, because like, before I just kind of drew it, but now since like, it's, I can see where I like, kind of like, done better and things like that. Excellent. I can, I can improve my work. You can improve your work. Really appreciate the feedback. Did you find it helpful making up the success criteria with the class? Why? Why was that? Why is that? How is that different from someone just giving it to you? Because then I can actually like think of it myself and not just just someone telling me. Beautiful. Thanks for your help. Hi, Cole. How are you? Good. Good. Thanks for your help today. Tell me how uh, using this prove it strategy is helpful to you. How's it helping your work? Because we get to like go around to each person and like see what like each person does and we can build off each other and also you can kind of like judge your own work and like get better off of that. Right, I really like that judge. So what what do you use, how do you know if your work's good or needs improvement? It depends how many uh, the arrows you have to stick on your paper. And those arrows are the success criteria, right? Did you create them with the class or were they given to you? We created them with the class. How is that helpful? Because we have to put them in our own words to make them more understandable for our age. Is it hard, Cole, putting limiting the number of arrows to say three? Yeah, because there's there's multiple on my paper that I could have put, but I had to narrow them down to the best ones. Excellent.